St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Our celebrant today is the pastor of Blessed Sacrament Church here in Toronto, Father Larry Marcel. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from the Boots family from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. This Mass is offered in honor of Lynn Boots, 84th birthday, which she is celebrating today. And on behalf of everyone gathered for this sacred celebration, I thank the Boots family and Moose Jaw for this gift, and we all wish Lynn Boots a very happy birthday and many more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. My dear friends, to prepare our hearts to celebrate the Holy Mass, we take a few moments now to call to mind our sins and failings in life and ask for God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done, what I have failed to do, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May our loving God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Lord God, we ask that you grant us your forgiveness and set us free from the enslavement to sin. And we make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In distress, Jeremiah raised his voice to the Lord. O Lord, you have enticed me and I was enticed. You have overpowered me, and you have prevailed. I have become a laughing stock all day long. Everyone mocks me. For I hear many whispering, terror is all around. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All my close friends are watching for me to stumble. Perhaps he can be enticed, and we can prevail against him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me like a dread warrior. Therefore my persecutors will stumble, and they will not prevail. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O oh, Lord of hosts, you test the righteous, you see the heart and the mind. Let me see your retribution upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hands of evil doers. The word of the Lord. Yes.
The Lord be with you. And also A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The Jews took up stones to stone him. Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works for my Father. For which of these are you going to stone me? The Jews answered, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law? I said you are gods. If those to whom the word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming because I said, I am God's Son? If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest Jesus again, but he escaped from their hands. And he went away across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing earlier, and he remained there. Many came to Jesus, and they were saying, John performed no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true, and many believed in him there. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the gospel of the Lord. Praise. 